We are absolutely delighted to have so many of you here to address this important challenge, how to consistently scale up our social solutions and help transform our society. When we speak of scaling, we're mainly speaking of initiatives that address big societal challenges, where an approach can be tested and proven on a manageable basis, and where having done so, given the huge scope of the challenge, it is appropriate or even imperative to extend the benefits much more widely. I think that the Social Impact Exchange is really doing an extraordinary thing in bringing together exemplary programs with donors who are interested in finding out how to support exemplary programs. Though the exchange has several goals, its primary one is to build a philanthropic capital marketplace that can identify, nurture, and consistently finance hundreds of scaling efforts annually at a national, state, and local level. One of the ways that we're building this marketplace, of course, is to bring people together to see live presentations from some of the highest performing nonprofits in the country. The core public function of any marketplace is to efficiently and effectively allocate capital to the highest performing organizations. That's very true in the financial world, and that should be true in the philanthropic world as well. And it's not just a matter of saying we need uh, nonprofits to behave more like businesses. That's not entirely true. But what is true is that the way that philanthropic capital is allocated right now is inefficient and largely ineffective. But there are some really promising signs of, of change and innovation. What everybody in this room shares are at least these goals. One is that more philanthropic funds should go to high-performing nonprofits or at least if they're in the startup phase, to promising high-performing nonprofits. And secondly, there's an interest in improving nonprofit performance. The goal is for donors to be able to quickly find information on the kinds of organizations that they're interested in, the, the issues and the geographies, and to know that they are high impact. I think that it would be an amazing opportunity just within our own Morgan Stanley Smith Barney family to be able to do the kind of high impact philanthropic advisory work that we offer to 400 advisors and roughly their 10,000 clients to 18,000 advisors um, and probably over 4.5 million clients. The real value is that they're aggregating donors on an agnostic platform where eclectic donors are coming together and it's a place to give them information. And I, and I think if our industry doesn't take advantage of that, it's sort of a tragedy. Funders can't go it alone. And more importantly, CEOs need funders not to go it alone. CEOs of these organizations embarking on these business plans need coordinated funding and preferably upfront so that they can focus on their value add, which is leading the organizations, delivering the services, and scaling the program. There is plenty of money to solve our problems. The challenge is how we allocate our resources. I, th I would challenge us to think about the outcome as opposed to the organization. Because when we begin to think about the outcome, we begin to think about how we could be more efficient, more effective, with all those resources we already have in place. And the only way that you can do that is if you can actually scale organizations and bring them to sustainability. And we all talk about what's sustainability. We need this kind of seed capital to come from foundations and individuals to come together so that we can demonstrate for government that we have new, new ways of doing things and that it's worth government to change the systems that they're now invested in. I think that we can take this period of tough resources and tougher problems and say we have an obligation to spend the dollars we're spending better. And when those of you who are philanthropists fund organizations that demand those of us who are bureaucrats to spend our money better, we can repurpose the existing dollars and create an environment for change that will make a big difference in a lot of people's lives. The demand to take something that um, already has impact and bring it to other communities you know, there's a demand for that right now, and leaders really have to be ready for that. The only way we can achieve impact at any scale is if we become a movement for change, combining proven metrics and effective programs with communications and advocacy efforts, propelled by a shared vision and story of who we are, what we're trying to achieve, 
and why the change we seek is vital to the lives of real people in every community. When that happens, we will have a movement, yes, we will have the scale that is equal to the challenges we face. Thank you. Thank you.